happening at is in the media. See, the media is taking an opportunity and taking advantage of you, America. They're taking advantage of you right now because they're not telling you the stories about the two sides that are actually working on legislation to make life better for not just veterans, but senior citizens and for children and for people in general. Uh, they're not talking to you about that because that what that doesn't get news. See, what gets news is them cussing each other out, threatening each other, all that. They love that stuff, and you love that stuff as Americans. You know, it's like we have turned the media into a nonstop WWE wrestling type event every damn night. I mean, it is. It's just, it's who can say the most bizarre, obnoxious thing instead of saying, hey, let's figure out a way to work this out. You know, that's the reason why I've got people that, that hate my guts. I'm telling you, I've, I've, I've ran into them many times. Um, and you know what? To hell with them people because they have no desire to do anything for America. Everything that they're doing is for the destruction of America. So I think that if you have a good, solid president who loves America, you know, truly loves America, not just looking to elevate themselves, you know, look, what, what, does, what does Donald Trump have to gain by being the president? Is he not already the, one of the richest men in the world? I mean, you think about that. You know, he's put himself through all this, been shot and everything else. I mean, you know, hey, you know, he, he knows. He knows what I felt like. He knows what a lot of us felt like that have been hit. Um, and, you know, it was a very close call for him. He could have died, and, and somebody did die at that event. 